All right, hello everyone, and uh, welcome to War Thunder patch 1.70.1945. Uh, the, probably the only reason why they named the patch 1.70.1945 is because it's the 70th anniversary of the end of World War Two in 1945. So um, yeah, uh, just a couple of well, this patch has been out for ages before you see this, but um, they have introduced a whole new line of British uh, aircraft. And remember how I said that they need to have a Hurricane with twen four, with uh, four 20mm cannons like they did. Well, guess what? Now it does. <laughs> They've now introduced C Hurricane, Mark 1B and Mark 1C. Um, the Mark 1B is exactly the same as the Hurricane Mark 1, which is now the Mark 1 Late, which meant, uh, well, which means that my German captured skin for the Hurricane Mark 1 no longer works. So instead I've got the Fleet Air on because, um, well, here's the Hurricane Mark 1B in its default standard camouflage. That's C Hurricane and then the Fleet Air on version of the Hurricane Mark 1 Late is pretty much exactly the same. So, yeah, I and then of course the Mark 2B hasn't had a name changed. So, yeah, it's still got the nice, the nice German captured camouflage. Um, now, I burnt my way down through here to the Sea Hurricane Mark 1C with the full 20mm cannons, which rip shit up. Um, and now I'm moving on to the Firefly and making my way down there. Um, also got some new Russian overpowered shit and some new German stuff and some new American stuff, including uh, American TDs now. So um, they've also introduced a new light tank, which looks very, very strange. I mean, just look at this thing. It's <laughs> just, I don't know. <laughs> it's just, uh, it has 150, 50 cal, which is here, I think. That's a 50, that looks like a 50 barrel. And then uh, 130. Uh, let me see. Yeah, so there's the 50, there's the the um, Kayaxel. That, that is the main gun, basically. That and the 17.62 gun is the main gun. It it's only for really for shooting down aircraft. I'd expect. I do not expect. Oh well, actually, let's look at the stats quickly of the MG um, arm piercing incendiary, uh, 28 millimeters at a distance of 10 of 10 meters at zero degrees. Right. Okay. So AP still 28 as get as well. Um, one less penetration with the um, armor piercing incendiary tracer bullet. Um, so yeah, that's just you already get this and this and parts r unlocked as well, as well as apparently elevation mechanism because I don't know. Um, but yeah, I just added in the DAC symbol plus uh, some German crosses, uh, just because. Um, you also get now a new new half track, um, which is the 75 mm M3 half track. You can get this in Company of Heroes uh, Europe at Walmart, and I, it's interesting to say the least. Um, so yeah, here it is. There's the ammo. So if you want to aim for, so if you want to ammo this thing, just straight through there. That that will be good. Um, <laughs> that's yeah, it's a half track. What do you expect with a 75 mm gun? Uh, yes, I know about the invitation. Then you've got the M10 gun motor carriage Wolverine tank destroyer. Yeah, I, I didn't mean to do that. There you go. Preview. I have got a user skin for this. It's going to look like the Achilles when I get it because that's the user skin. It's a Achilles conversion for the M10. The Achilles obviously had the 17 pounder longer out here somewhere. Want to get there in World of Tanks uh, but need to go through like the Valentine and yeah, stuff like that. Then, of course, you've got the M18 gun motor carriage Wolverine tank destroyer. Um, here it is, the non premium version of the Wolverine. I think it has a 76. Yep, 76. Um, not this, not the uh, 90 millimeter like you can get in other tanks, but yeah, hey ho. Um, just as a note, you notice that the Wolverine has got. You can see in the picture there, it's got these sort of slight mud guards at the front, at the sides, and the black cap doesn't. Um, this is, of course, the premium version of that. It doesn't have. Uh, it doesn't have the flash hider thing at the front. Um, and then the M36 Jackson gun motor carriage Jackson tank destroyer. Uh, wait for this to load. Yep, there you go. There's your Jackson uh, with the 50s, of course, because America loves their 50s. 
Um, what gun does that have? That has a 90mm. Then, of course, the Doom Turtle, as it has been christened in Wilder Tanks and now more than likely going to be in War Thunder. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> Just. Doom Turtle. <laughs> Yeah, okay, that's that's that. Um and then of course you've got the T twenty eight prototype, um uh, which is a premium in War Thunder. I had a quick test drive of this, it's it's not very fast or maneuverable as you would expect, but yeah. It is what it is. Um it will be slightly uh slightly less wide because the Doom Turtle, I think, has got two rows of tracks, and this doesn't. So, yeah, it'll be slightly harder to hit, but still going to be as slow. Um, let me see, was there anything new in Russia? Oh, yeah, there was the... Because um, you remember how you had the 72 Gaz 23mm uh, flak truck at rank 2? Well, now you've got a rank 1 that basically has four Maxims as the anti-aircraft. Yeah, there it is. Just... Wow. <laughs> So you can really say about that, just wow. Because Russia, strong in the aircraft. Um, yeah, so that's that. That's the new anti aircraft for the uh, Russian anti aircraft bus. Uh, I don't think there's anything else. Oh, this. Um, there's this thing. I've only just noticed this, but yeah, there's a new T 34. Uh, I don't think there's anything else new in the rest of the Russian tech line. There may have been a couple of name changes. Oh, yeah, you've got these special bundles for the um, end of World War II, so you've got uh, the KV... Uh, not the KV-85, the T-3485 with... Uh, these things, historically, um, and like metal mesh that was put uh, on... Okay, you can just about sort of make out these sort of funny dots on here. Um, that is the metal mesh. That was to stop uh, anti-tank grenades and stuff from actually sticking to the side of the tank. You know, sort of magnetic stuff that would sort of stop it. It would explode and harmlessly bounce off the tank. So that was the point of that. I'm not too sure what it's going to be useful for in War Thunder. I don't know if it actually gives any armament or not. Oh, it does. It gives about six millimeters of armor uh, to your T3485. So yeah, that's that's all what that is. Uh, apparently doesn't work on the turret though. Only these sides do. Yeah, okay, so the, these things on the side here, the ones on the other side of the turret don't actually count as anything, these ones do. Yeah, so they will add, if you're flat like this, they'll add about 6-7 millimeters of armor to your T-34, which, you know, more is better. Um, and then you've got a random IS-2, a new IS-2, because, you know, who doesn't want more overpowered Russian stuff. Um, SU-57 is basically it's a it's basically the 75 millimeter in um, the American tree, but for Russia and slightly different. Probably yeah, it has a 57 millimeter instead of a um, instead of a 75. Hence the reason why it's a ZIS-57 or SU-57 model. I don't think there's any new premiums here. Uh, the Germans, yeah, nothing because it's the end of World War Two, so every, everyone except for Germany is going to get some love. So, oh, and Japan. I don't think anything new has happened in Japan. Um, although the Germans have got a new Marder Three, that may have already been there. I reckon it probably, yeah, it probably has actually. Oh no, it has. I remember seeing them, yeah, in older videos. Uh, Stu Forty Two, um, with the One O Five Howitzer. Love that thing in Company of Heroes. Not too sure how it's going to work here, but short barreled Stug Company of Heroes firing HE is the best thing. Um, yeah, other than that, nothing. Uh, I have finally got the Tiger E. Uh, Panzer Kampfwagen 6 Tiger Alpha E, uh, which can actually fire um, APCR. No, don't want to do that. Don't want to test drive. Uh, in fact, what am I doing? I don't need to look at that. There you go. Modifications. There you go. So it can actually fire, you know, Panzer Graf and 40. It can actually, it can actually now damage IS-2s that it goes up against. Finally, and I've got the a octopus camouflage for it um, because I, well, I always thought this this camouflage looked nice. There's a very unique camouflage. Also, uh, I've got Tiger 131. I think I've still got the 131 skin for the Tiger Edge. Yeah, there you go, Tiger 131 from the Bombington Tank Museum. Um, you're not going to be able to see it that clearly because 
when I did download it for the first time ages ago, it did say that you should have uh, camouflage condition to be like 100% so it doesn't have any dirt on it. But you can only take that with a premium account because Gaijin, so yeah. Um, I don't think there's anything new in aviation, is there? Uh, they've got a couple new planes, a couple new P-40s and P-39s and stuff. Uh, oh yeah, they've got special planes for the end of World War II. So they've got a new LA-7 and stuff like that. All, all the captured stuff. All the Ensley stuff, even. Uh, Yak-9M. All the new stuff will be marked minus 25% because it's still going on, sort of. Um, so yeah, that's new, that's new. Uh, Britain, they've got a new couple new Spitfires. There and there. Uh, Japan, yeah, Japan doesn't have anything new, of course. Oh, they've got a massive gap between rank three and rank five, so yeah, that's all about it. Um, yeah, they don't have anything new, interesting. An ME two six two there, saber. I mean, I know it's called something different, but it is a generic ME two six two, except built by Japan for some reason. I can't actually see. That's not it, is it? Um, because I do remember seeing uh, an ME. Oh no, wait, that's not an ME262. Look, what was I talking about? I do remember seeing an ME262 in the Japanese tree somewhere. That isn't it, though. That's a comet, that's not an ME262. Well, I don't actually know the designation, I'm not going to bother showing you it because you will want to see some gameplay now, seeing as I, seeing as I have my new Hurricane loader. Yeah, I, as you can tell, seeing as I haven't actually researched anything in the Japanese, I haven't even played one game in, as the, as Japan. So yeah, I just haven't bothered with any of that. Um, so yeah, let's just go into a game in the Sea Hurricanes, because I have now got a new new loadout, Hurricanes exclamation mark, because you know, I've always loved Hurricanes. So. Delicious cup of tea with me as well. Now, other times that I've tried recording it, another episode of War Thunder, because, sorry for not actually having any new War Thunder games, but I did have to download the massive update for patch 1.70.1945, so, um, but now that I do, I can now actually finally start showing you some gameplay, um, again, so yeah, sorry for the lack of War Thunder videos, not that anyone really watches my channel, but never mind. Um, yeah, but anyway, the, every time that I've tried recording this uh, gameplay, um, the in my internet's just you know cut out and just yeah stop working because I don't know because internet because my internet's not very good. Um, so yeah, gotta watch out for any aircraft as we go in. Uh, ooh, hello, Triple E. There you go, ground unit destroyed. Uh, some more Triple A. No. Didn't hit him. Bow fighter. Uh, going away from me, so that's all good. I am, of course, using a aircraft. Um, oh, I've attracted some fighter attention. I am using anti-aircraft um, shells, um, but that doesn't really matter because they're still going to take out ground units like nothing. Um, I do have a biplane on me, which I do not like, so let's just go over here. New me new. Triple A. Good day to you, sir. You're not going to shoot down anything else. Not that you have actually shot down anything, because you know, who gets shot down by ground units? I mean, <laughs> come on. Uh, right, so we've got the biplane on us, who doesn't like us. And as manoeuvrable and slow as the old Hurricane is, biplanes are slightly more manoeuvrable and slow. So, we'll just have to keep avoiding being shot down by him. As we just, you know, casually keep. I think he's trying to ram me now. He's given up trying to shoot down a Hurricane, so he's just gonna, you know, ram, stuff, ram people. Yeah, I've been set on fire, not too sure who by. Definitely by someone, as we just casually kill. That uh, triple A, yeah, we're on fire. Oh, and we've just lost a wing and everything. 
Yeah, both fighters set me on fire. Yeah. Well, let's go see Hurricane Mark One B. Well, that that was the end of the of the twenty millimeter Sea Hurricane. So let's try Mark One B. Ooh, Heinkel. Good day, Juta. Uh, all right. He's suffered damage to elevator. Nice. Well, let's. Uh, uh, he's bailed out. Well then, let's go for this TBF. Good day to you, sir. Um, well, I thought I saw somebody there. That, might, that was probably just the wreckage of the Heinkel before it despawned. Uh, an A20G. Eat my 7.7s. If I can actually hit the darn thing. Well, I'm good, damn it. Uh, no, this isn't working. The RNA 7.7s has a gun jammed. Oh, uh, well, he's still hitting them. Yeah, but while they, uh, these things are only 7.7, so they're not really going to do anything. And gun jammed, and we're out of ammo. However, it doesn't take very long to reload 7.7s, so we should. There you go. Gun jammed instantly. Great, thank you. As we keep trying to shoot down the C20. G havoc. Yeah, this is the frustrating thing about the British line is that you don't really. Oh, well, somebody set me on fire. Is that your 7.7s don't really make for easily researching stuff in the British tree. I have to. Who is it that's attacking me? Oh, it's a typhoon. Well, let's just do this. And we'll do that. And back down on the IL-2, who's now trying to, like, kill us. Because IL-2. No. Uh, let's... There you go. Around the mountain. Uh, we'll go down this gorge, because why not? I can see that I'm still being chased by some people. Do not like me. Still a typhoon and an L A two or an I L two rather, not an L A two. Can't get out of the I L twos. No, we've no, we lost our elevators. Bang! Yeah, that didn't work. <laughs> Damn it, I L two. See, overpowered Russia because. Uh, let's go higher than that one. Ah. Sorry, drinking, drinking a cup of tea before it gets cold. Delicious. Uh, yeah. Oh, who is this? We should win though. They only have seven gram units. We have seventeen. Where am I? Yeah, I'm about mid on the leaderboard. Having yet to shoot anything down. I got one assist and seven AI gram unit kills. And where are their remaining ground units? Sorry about that. Well, seeing as there's no actual enemy fighter movement over there, or at least any enemy movement at all, so I may as well go for him. On the cars. Uh, uh, as soon as I say that there's no enemy fighters, there's a BF on anyway. E. Um, well, let's go for him then. Uh, enemy kill assist. Right, I can take that. At least he's not in game anymore. Armour car, armour car, armour car. These are all armour cars. No triple A's because triple A's considerably easier to kill than armour cars. Even though these are half tracks. I'm not too sure if, if half tracks count as armour cars. But all right. There you go. You got that guy. Where's the last guy? There he is. Let's go around again. Got him. Final blow. Yay, there you go. Woohoo. Hard game. Yay. <laughs> right. Let's see how that went. My place in team six. Yeah. Blow, research, all modification, tier three for Mark 1C, Hurricane. Uh, yeah, with the new, actually, um, 
people will probably remember the old system of um, when you get battle trophies, you'd, you'd literally just get uh, some uh, silver lines. But now they've actually made it so that uh, with the new um, login bonus um, thing, which sort of spins around, uh, or well, spins along in a sort of straight line, like a conveyor belt, but slows down until it sort of stops on one thing. That's what happens with the um, new system of, um, of battle trophies. You'll get random things from... Uh, getting a free, you know, a free research thing. Um, so it will research one uh, part that you aren't currently researching on your uh, chosen aircraft or whatever. Um, there's another thing where it will give you backups of some vehicles. Like I did get um, various backups of uh, some uh, of mostly British planes because I was flying the Hurricanes and so I got a backup of the Sea Hurricane, got a backup of some various other things you know, and so it's just a, I prefer the new system that they've got so. yeah, well let's go again then because uh, Sea Hurricane model is it? Uh, I only have to research two things that was a free research actually I, I, I got a free research for about two of the cannons <laughs> I re started researching new 20mm cannons and then it it then gave me that one for free and that one for free. So I was just like, all right, free free cannons, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, I've sort of powered through researching uh, everything for the Mark One C. Because we now sort of have the whole Mark One Hurricane line. We have the Mark One A, which is pretty much just the Hurricane Mark One late. Mark 1B is, of course, the Sea Hurricane, then Sea Hurricane Mark 1C. So, yeah, all we need is the Hurricane Mark 2A, Mark 2B, we've already got, and any other subsequent version. Like, what I want, what I want, now that Gaijin have actually listened to us, damn it, and they've added in a Hurricane with 420mm, we need a Hurricane which has 37mm. They use them in the desert. Give us a desert Hurricane with 37mm. Come on. Give the British something that they can attach to more hurricanes because hurricanes are the best British fighter ever. <sighs> yeah, okay. Um, well, now we've got to kill enemy aircraft and also ground units. Well, it's light vehicles again, which is useful because you can rip them up with. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Good day to you, sir. I think he is coming in for an attack randomly, so. Let's approach him. He's a Sea Hurricane Mark 1 B. Got him. That is uh, 20 millimeters for you, ladies and gentlemen, on a Hurricane. Versus a Hurricane with 7.7s. And now a Russian aircraft. Good day to you, sir. Uh, critical hit. He's on fire and he's down. Um, and now a KI 61 uh, who is shooting up our ground forces. I, and I don't like it, so let's go for him. This is what all of the British... This is what all of the British aircraft players have been waiting for. A hurricane with 20 millimeters. Four of them. Because at the most you'll get two. Two 20 mils and two 7.7s on a Spitfire. But now you get four 20 millimeters on a hurricane. This is exactly what the British needed and British players wanted. They wanted something with mass firepower that is survivable, and hurricanes were more had a higher survivability than hur than Spitfires. Right, critical. He's on fire. He should be going down there. Now we have to wait for you know 20 seconds. Uh, let's just tell my team I'm reloading because I'm getting attacked by various people. Yeah. Now I can turn back on them, avoiding houses. Oh, I think, is that the same P-40 that I was shooting at? I believe it is. There's him, there's a Spitfire going down. There's another hurricane. Because now, people used to be, oh, it's a hurricane, oh, he won't be any threat to me. But now you have to sort of be careful, because it only says Sea Hurricane Mark 1. So you can be like, oh no, it's a Sea Hurricane. I have a 50-50 chance of it being the 20mm version. 
but this one isn't luckily and this is just a because people were like oh the mo at the most he'll have four twenty millimeters uh not four twenty millimeters four seven point seven so he'll you know po prove new no threat to me but now you have to be careful because it may be may end up being a sea hurricane with twenty millimeters because then you'll just get owned by four twenty millimeters spraying shells in your direction so yeah you sort of have to be careful now more wary of hurricanes uh, well we got this good news is that we actually shot down the Spitfire bad news is his his body flew into us and killed us but still never mind uh, that last game as well by the way that was I was getting uh, plus 150% uh, research bonus because you know the login thing uh, well scores are pretty much even we're holding on by one ground unit uh, there's some unguarded ground units so let's dive down gain some speed as that guy crashes uh, he did own a whole load of those units though. Not quite able to kill that guy. As we. Oh, damn it. Funny I hadn't been overloaded on the G Force there. Because I could have actually lined up and killed that guy. Now we have to go around again to. As the mouse doesn't work again. Also, sorry if you. Sorry for hearing that constantly in the videos, is because uh, that is me moving my mouse in order to actually control the darn thing. As I get engaged by P40, all right. Then. all right. So I request you disengage. This will not end well with you. Come on. End up the target. No, he's getting into a turn fight with a hurricane. That's a bad idea, friend. You've never met a hurricane. But like a Stuka. They're very good at turn fighting at low altitude. Hey, and he's dead. Hey, 7.7s. Well, that didn't take about a thousand rounds. SPD 3 just got shot down. Gladiator. Good day to you, sir. There's now a sea gladiator as well, so you can, you know, gladiators. Yeah. Uh, what is this guy? He is a triple A. Oh, the gladiator's down. He is only a biplane. Oh, down goes the triple A. No, oh, Artie. Nice. I thought that was a pillbox, because pillboxes are usually stationed up there. There's some more arty. Yeah. Ooh, a second. Yay. Uh, as tracers come around in all directions. And we're out. Well, let's see who's engaging us then. Uh, an F2A, I think. Good day to you, sir. Oh no, it's a Spitfire. <laughs> Just a quick burst crits his gear leg. That poor guy. Now he can't land efficiently. Oh, well, does he just dies as he crashes into him? Hmm. Sorry, just finishing up my cup of tea. It's getting a bit cold, so I'll just finish it up quickly. Wow, look at all those things I got. Mission Maker, deliver the first and final blow. Did I really deliver the first? Oh, really? Oh, nice. <laughs> that a Sea Hurricane Mark 1B. Poor guy that I just obliterated. <laughs> he did pretty much no damage to my Hurricane, and I just wrecked his Hurricane. Oh, dear. 20 millimeters. Oh, what's this? Fighter Hunter. There's at least five fighters. <laughs> well, 20 millimeters certainly helped with that. Ground Force Rescue, Bomber Rescue, and Fighter Rescue. Let's get all of them in there. <laughs> hey, we got loads of stuff. Nice. Uh, engine throttle. There you go. We got cover. So now all we have to do is get our engine better. Better engine. Hmm. Well, thank you for watching this. Um, new British fighters. Um, 
and a very very swift um, patch overview that I did at the beginning of the uh, of the episode. So thank you all for watching uh, me playing War Thunder and wrecking shit with uh, Seahark and Mark 1C, uh, and goodbye.